so I've made some progress going pretty well at the moment I think the toughest part of this is the actual pipe itself it's quite rigid and it wants to bend let me show you right so it's going pretty well at the moment um, what I did first was found the center line there we go crosshair in the middle so I just measured the length and then the length halved it and that gave me the center point obviously from that point I just came 150 150 150 150 millimeters and use my square just to square those lines up give me a little square um, I decided that as a little bit too small because this pipe kinks quite easily if I just kink the end for you look you see it just kinks really easily and so what I've done is I just made that border a little bit bigger and what I did was just start by putting these 40 mil pins in place just just a couple one in each each of the sides and squashed it in with another pin be careful not be careful not to actually go through the pipe itself and I've just been wrapping it round bit by bit and I think it's gonna become easier as I go around mainly because the radius is getting bigger but the hardest part now is as I uncoil it um, it's becoming harder to sort of bend it in the right position here so I've got to take the whole coil around the table every time I do one here I've got to just walk around the table with the coil and then flip the coil around so it's not twisted otherwise it does kink so that is going to be the problem but every time I do one for example if I just put a bit of pipe in place here what I'll do is I'll just feed that round then all I do once that's in place I'm just going to put a pin next to it once that's knocked in a little bit I just bend it over so yeah I'm going to give that a go now and do as much as I can right so taking shape again now as I knock my nails in I literally just bend them over a little bit I knock them in about 10-15 mil making sure they don't go through the edge of the ply otherwise I don't want loads of nails sticking out the other end but it's taking shape and they've been held in nicely I could have drawn on nice lines here accurate lines to follow with my pins but to be honest I don't really care what it looks like once it's done as long as it holds in place so yeah probably done about 10 meters of it by now and so just going to carry on like that now and see see how it takes shape so as the radiuses are now getting bigger I thought the best thing to do would be to put an extra nail in so eight pins shall I say so I'm putting an extra one in one two three four five six seven eight and as you can see have a look at the pin how angled it is so I pin it in at an angle like that and once I knock it in 10 mil I will then bend it over let's see if I could do one while I'm holding the camera I'll do that and then knock it over It'll take a little bit longer with the extra pins, but I think as the radius is getting bigger, it needs more support. Uh, and the coil doesn't seem to be going down. But, like I just said, the coil is getting a bigger radius, so it's taking up more pipe as I go around. So, who knows at the moment. It is quite lightweight pipe, so by the time it's all on, it shouldn't weigh too much. Right, another hour's passed and the coil is getting smaller been at it for probably about an hour and a half no nah, probably two hours by now in total and i've got a little technique going so all i do is loop over one coil at a time and then just wrap it around the table just to hold it in place so i don't have to walk around the actual um whole table with the coil and it's just literally just giving it a little push over the table that's it and the coil is in place like this one and this little bit just holds it in place so I'm ready to pin all the way around and then literally I'll just do it again flip it over and so on so how many have I done so far one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen on the twentieth one now 
So I probably say I've got about, I don't know, 40% of the coil left. But how many more rows have I got left to do? Let's measure it. So I've got about 120 mil. And what's 120 mil on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got eight more space, eight more left on here. Probably I need to put a batten on the side and build it up. So yeah, eight more to go and then job done. Might even leave the rest till tomorrow. To give myself something to do tomorrow. There we go, all done. About three hours, maybe two and a half hours to get that all done. We've got a little bit left. So I say about 70 or 80 meters on this actual table coiled up. And like I said, that might just get fed through a hole to the underside, not too sure, or it might just pass over, um, over the top. Not too sure, but ultimately we just need to box this off and get some plastic on the top I guess or a bit of polythene or glass whatever um, put some battens around it to make an upstand and yeah seal it I don't necessarily have to but I think it might hold in a bit more heat if I did it that way it doesn't have to be waterproof or anything um, I might set the old pump up onto it tomorrow to see well to test it in the sun see if it's doing anything Sun's gone down now, going down. I don't feel particularly hot. I don't know if I've got the wrong type of plastic. It's hard plastic. Maybe the rubbery pipes would have done best, but yeah, I think on a summer's day, that's when it's sort of gonna kick in and work its best. So yeah, battens tomorrow and connect up to the pump if I've got some connections um, and see how it goes.